welcome back. Um, so now to piece everything together. All right. So I have that the marinade, right, made with the cilantro, jalapeno, uh, garlic, lime, and a little bit of salt. Now I'm gonna mix it in. Again, it's gonna add a nice green color to it, right? All right. So let's mix this in. Mix it all in. The word aguachile actually means, you know, basically um, uh, liquid chile because this is this is gonna be spicy, right? Those two jalapenos that we put in there are gonna bring a lot of a lot of heat to it, right? And you'll see it's still green. It's nice vibrant green and then the way we're gonna we're actually gonna so it's it's very green right now i'm gonna brighten it up a little bit with just a splash of white vinegar right you want to make sure that this is nice and appealing visually appealing so feel free to add a little splash of white vinegar right mix that in Mix that in. Make sure it's evenly distributed, right? And then the reason why I'm using a, a big serving dish, right? Is because you wanna have the shrimp lay flat, right? You wanna make sure that they are, that the liquid, that the marinade is being evenly distributed from top to bottom of the shrimp, right? And we slice those shrimp nice and thin. All right, time for the toppings. Now, here we have some avocado, some cucumber, some leaves of cilantro, the radish, and the red onion. I'm gonna go ahead and top this off. All right, remember that you wanted your, your onions to be nice and thin. Right, and then you wanna soak them in water. Right, so this is gonna be layered on. There's several layers to this. Okay. So now we're gonna add in a little bit of green. I'm gonna add in the cucumber. Again, this is nice, nicely sliced thin. Add this. Again, you wanna make it visually appealing, right? Because when you serve this to your guests, you want them to say, oh wow, what a pretty dish, right? And really, cooking is a sort of art. You're, you're taking ingredients, you're, you're interpreting recipes, you're adding your own twist to it. And so that's really what we're doing here, right? And every layer is like a layer of paint on, on a painting, right? So you wanna make sure it's nice, visually nice, evenly distribute those toppings, right? And then finally, you wanna add, you wanna add those slices of avocado, okay? You wanna spread these out. And you want to make sure they're nicely thin, distributed, right? You want your guests to say, oh, wow, look, Miko. Wow, you have great knife skills. So, all right, make sure they're nice. Okay. All right. And then you want to add a little bit of, you know, save some, save some cilantro. Leave that there, top it off. Everyone loves a nice little top off of cilantro, right? And then the last thing that we wanna add, just give it a, a nice richness, some, some nice fat to it. You wanna drizzle a little bit of olive oil, okay? So this is the last thing that goes on your watch today, okay? And again, this, this recipe comes from uh, Mazatlan in the Sinaloa region, which is very arid, but it's coastal. So imagine having this on a, on a hot day, it's 100 degrees, right? It's something refreshing, something locally sourced because Mazatlan in Sinaloa, is a, that's a coastal city and a coastal state. So there you go. Samawachile estilo Mazatlan. Go. 
Mmm, can't wait to get in this. You can use, again, tostadas or really whatever you have. Tostadas, uh, chips, right? Go ahead and go in there. This is just uh, a plain yellow corn chip. There you go. Bon appetit. Mm. All right. So now, now that we have the awachile finished, what we want to do is we want to make some tortillas, or you can you can buy your own. It really uh, whatever you prefer. If you want to make some at home, if you got one of these tortilla presses, go for it. If not, anything you find at Fine Fair at uh, Fairway will be just good enough. All right. So I'm gonna take it. You wanna put it on a hot comal. The comal has to be very hot. Uh, you're gonna spend 10 seconds on one side. Now it's very, very hot. I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna use a little scooper. And then you wanna flip. You wanna let that flip. While that is cooking, and it's gonna be fast, I'm gonna put away this tortilla press. Put this to the side. I'm gonna start slicing up this meat. All right. Before I do that, toss this up here one more time. Flip it over, and let's see where we're at with the meat. So I want to make sure it's pretty well done. I don't want it to be bloody, but I don't want it to be too cooked, and it just has a a tinge of pink, which is exactly where we want it, right? Remember that marinade that we use really broke down all those protein strands. So it made it nice, nice and tender, all right? Now that we have that, I have my tortillas. You see it starting to puff up. That's a good sign that it's finished. Woo, they're hot. All right, so you got, my, you got your tortillas, right? Freshly made. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give some love to the ones down here. Bottom, all right, all right. So, next up, you want to give it a couple slices, right? A few slices. Oh, this is gonna be a nice one, all right. And then you want to top it off with a little bit of cebolla. Boom, 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 toma, and some cilantro. There you go. Don't forget the lime. Got the lime, and then last but not least, you want to top it off with some secret family-made hot sauce. All right, you always got to have some stocked. You always got to have some Santa Verde. Top that off. Boom, sauce. Toma. There we go. There you go. You got your tacos de carne asada and. Some of my chili. Bon appetit.